Hey, little darlings, it's Michelle Visage. Welcome to another episode of What You Packing. And today we have the one and only superstar, Miss Trinity the Tuck Taylor. Hey! Congratulations to you. Thank you. How is it different for you this time around? You know, I did, I did make top four in my season. This is a little different because I made it to the very bitter end. Mm -hmm. um, except for this time it's not bitter. I feel really happy with everything that I presented this year. Season nine was different because it's kind of like a rush to get there, so you just bring whatever you can. And this time I was able to actually bring every single thing I wanted to. And I feel 100% happy with everything that I presented. And not just my runways, but what I did in challenges. I, I don't even really have the words to encompass the level of drag that I saw from you in this All-Stars. Now, I loved you in your season as well. We had to fight a little bit to get to you, and I know you build walls, and I think your boyfriend, Leo, has helped you kind of bring walls down, and I've spent some personal time with you, and you helped save my life in Zurich and <laughs> all sorts of fun things on the road, and I got to know you personally, um, but because I did know you personally, I got to see more of who I know right. on All-Stars 4, and I think that does have a lot to do with your personal life um, you finding peace and happiness yeah. in that. Because I think you struggled with that on your season. Very and much. then your boyfriend came into your life and then the whole grandmother situation and you know, people know about your struggles and you finding peace with, with her spirit and yeah. knowing that she'd be happy with who you are. And I know she'd be happy with who you are. But your level of drag, jaw dropping, that final dress, I don't even know what to say. I'm not impressed very easily, as you know. There isn't much that I haven't seen. And that was not only remarkable, and I haven't seen anything like it, it was in a class by itself. It was in a glass by itself. <laughs> 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 Whose idea was that? Um, actually, the designer who did my finale dress for season nine did this dress too, and it wasn't supposed to be my finale dress. Was it not? No, it's a rip away dress that is almost like a burlesque thing and I was saving it for a possible lip sync depending on what the song was. How would you lip sync in that thing? You can barely move in oh, it. Oh no, 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 no. It, it all comes off until it's little itty bitty bitty. Like Those little pieces? Oh, there's like five different oh, costume changes. Oh, shut up. I would yeah. have loved to have seen I, that. I know. I didn't want to be that naked for the finale. Wasn't the place for it. No, it wasn't. I agree. So I was just giving you a little taste of the tea. Um, but no, I wasn't supposed to be that, and actually he made that in a week. Made it and shipped it to me at last minute. And who's the designer? His name is Anthony Canny. He is, um, he's done stuff he didn't do. House of Canny? House of Canny. Yes. He did A lot of Violet Tchotchke Violet stuff. Violet Tchotchke, uh, Dita Von Teese. Um, he's done a lot of stuff. For he's remarkable. I'm dying for him to do a piece for me too. He needs to. I know, do you make, you don't make yours, but you design them? I used to make a lot of my stuff. Uh -huh. This time around, I didn't have time. I've been working. And um, so I did design a lot of my stuff and had a lot of stuff made by a lot of different people because I wanted different aesthetics for different things. Right. And you gave us, I mean, even for your super queen, just everything, Trinity, you pushed yourself. You pushed yourself to a place where you knew I was going to push you anyway. Yep. So you came prepared so I didn't have to say it. Yeah. Which is, it's very smart. Thank you. So. Do you feel better about it this time around or different? What's the right adjective? I'm better and different, but all of that. I feel just a sense of confidence. Tell me about the um, experience of having your boyfriend there for the makeover challenge. Ugh, insane. Um, was not expecting that at all. The door's open. The door's open and I'm thinking, okay, it's the best friend's challenge, right. so my best friend's gonna walk through the door. Um, who was who is a drag queen and I was thinking how's that gonna work um, and so I'm thinking in my head okay my best friend's a drag queen how's that gonna work and then in walks Leo and like I just like almost fall because I was not expecting that at all and I hadn't seen him and I missed him and I needed that I yeah. needed that push that charge so right at the right time it right was at the perfect time yeah it was, at the perfect it was time. so good thank you honestly really really fun that whole challenge was fun just the idea great. of it Great the challenge. song, the thought of it, yeah. it was really, really fun. And some girls hate, I know like Latrice hates a makeover challenge. I know you like a makeover challenge. Yeah, I love a makeover challenge. 
It's fun. It's fun to like, especially in these situations where the people you're making over have never, don't have this experience. Right, which is why bringing a drag queen, like I know Naomi would have wanted kimchi and Manila would have wanted Raja. It's not fair, it's, it's just not. No, and it's not, it's not fun. It's not fun because that's they what they that. do every yeah. night of their lives. Yeah. What was your favorite or a few of your favorite, if not one, of your favorite challenges? Um, the makeover was one of them. My absolute favorite was the Snatch Game. Oh, well, Snatch Game of Love. How could we not talk about your Caitlyn Jenner? <laughs> I mean, honestly, you know, I, I did a six month tour with Sharon Needles doing Caitlyn Jenner. And shout out to Sharon Needles because she's a great impressionist. Impressions are her thing. Mm -hmm. And after her doing Caitlyn and laughing my ass off, genuinely, I do not laugh when it's not funny. I am not an easy laugh. She killed me every night of the week for six months. Damn. You were that good. You were just as good. Well, thank goodness I knew that she did a great Caitlyn. And I have been wanting to do Caitlyn since season nine. Um, I actually, w I called her up one day and was like, Hey, I'm I'm getting ready to start doing Caitlyn as a character. Can you give me any pointers? And she graciously was like, Yeah. So here's this and this and this. A lot of it was really inappropriate that I couldn't say because you know her humor. That's Sharon Needles. Yes. yes. So um, luckily, she just gave me some pointers, mainly about the essence of the character, yes. and um, I just had a lot of fun. Oh, and it showed. It was so strong. Like when I was watching. The tape, literally, all I saw was you. There were some other great moments too, but all I saw was Caitlyn. It was so phenomenal. Malibu, baby! That's it! <laughs> oh, it was so funny, and I'm just so proud of you and everything that you overcame. And I'm proud of the most important thing this is a drag show and all that, but what people don't understand is that this show is so much more than boys dressing up in girls' clothing. Way more. It's about heart, it's about grit, integrity, perseverance, comeuppance, all this stuff. And I can tell that the work you've done on yourself has been working. Yeah. And I encourage you to keep doing what you're doing because you're doing the right thing with Leo in your life, without Leo in your life, whatever it is. You're getting to a place where you're realizing, hey, I've got one life to live. I want to do it with the best nose ever. Yeah. And I do want to do it with yeah. the best attitude yeah. ever. Yeah, no, you're right. This is the thing. Like, uh, people think that you have to be 100% figured out when you hit 30. I'm 33. And I'm still figuring myself out. Good. Um, my 30s have been the best years of my life. Wait to your 40s. I'm not kidding, I'm Trinity. I'm serious. Wait I'm, to your I'm 40s. Sure. Yeah. It's it's just like you know. Um, I thank God, the universe, the powers that be, that I have people in my life now that have really been there for me in all the right reasons and all the right ways and um, have pushed me to be a better person and that has allowed me to be a better entertainer. I am so excited for what the future holds for you. You've been working nonstop anyway, but I really think that you showed uh, another side to your drag, another side to your personality. People that maybe felt a little standoffish from you before are gonna see another side of Trinity Taylor. You're gonna open up a whole different audience and I love you to pieces. Thank you, thank you, and I love you too. Good, thank you, and I hope I wasn't too hard on you ever. No, no, I mean, you were hard, but... <laughs> but. I like it hard. Yeah, no, you do, girl. You go hard to go home. It's <laughs> yep. all good. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you guys for watching another episode of What You Pack In. We'll see you next time. Bye. If you want to see what Trinity the Tuck Taylor brought to me from her closet, you can head on over to the RuPaul's Drag Race Instagram page, click on IGTV, and ooh, we'll see it all. But she doesn't wear much clothes, so there's that. Hi everyone, it's me, legend, icon, and star, Trixie Mattel. Now you don't want to miss a second of RuPaul's Drag Race, so subscribe to the VH1 YouTube channel to get the latest and greatest in your inbox. Love yourself and do it already.